Gulf, bringing back memories of this time last year when Hurricane Harvey pounded the Texas coastline. Hundreds who decided to evacuate the coast made the tough decision to make North Texas their new home. New at 5, J.D. Miles is live outside the K. Bailey Hutchison Convention Center in downtown Dallas with a single mother's journey. J.D. Kilma, this time last year, as many as 4,500 evacuated Southeast Texas residents temporarily called the Convention Center home. The majority of them went back to their homes for repairs and in some cases rebuild, but as many as a thousand decided to stay in the DFW area, including a young single mother who made a tough decision not to go back. A year ago today, you couldn't tell me my life hadn't ended <laughs> and it was over. Nakia Boyd remembers that day a year ago this week when she had less than 10 minutes to get her two kids and some clothes out of her flooded home in Beaumont. We had a suitcase apiece. Each of my kids had a suitcase and I had a backpack and a duffel bag. That was it. Boyd, along with her 10 year old daughter and five year old son, were flown to Dallas, where she says days at the convention center for evacuees were as bleak as the 29 year old single mother's outlook on life. I didn't want to be there and it was freezing cold. I caught strep throat in there. A year later, Boyd now has a job with the DFW Bank, a car, and a home in Cockrell Hill after getting help from the United Way funded Catholic Charities. As long as you're trying to help yourself, they'll help you. Hair was falling out. I couldn't eat. I'm stressed. I'm scared. I'm nervous. And now look at me just living. <laughs> Happy. Approximately a thousand um, people. Um, were helped. The United Way says of those 1,000 evacuees who now call North Texas home, Boyd is one of the success stories. Some are thriving, some are still struggling. I mean, it's uh, you put yourself in the place of somebody who's got to start over from nothing. Um, housing is a challenge, but every single thing is a challenge. Hurricane Harvey was the worst, but yet the best thing that happened to me. And it, it made me realize how strong I was as a mom, as a woman, as a human. Boyd, like other evacuees who decided to stay but needed assistance, were assigned caseworkers for jobs, housing, and transportation. It's been a long road back from nothing 12 months ago this week. Live in Dallas, J.D. Miles, CBS 11 News.